Just about one hour ago, three shots at least were fired by what the military is describing as an active shooter at the Washington Navy Yard inside a building where several hundred people work. Security forces began entering the building at this hour. We have no word that they have managed to get to the shooter and take this person into custody. We are still awaiting what is happening with the shooter. The Navy has told us and says it is okay for us to report this, so I want to be very clear to our viewers that they are getting phone, phone reports from people inside the building who've been told to shelter in place, to stay there and await help, and those phone reports are telling Navy officials here at the Pentagon that perhaps several people were injured. Uh, we are also told just a few moments ago that they are now able to begin evacuating some people. We don't know if that's the injured or the people that were told to shelter in place. The shelter in place order went into effect so people could remain in a secure area till they could get the shooter. Very typical in these types of situations. I think most security personnel will tell you they want to keep people safe. They want to be able for the security personnel to move around and get to a shooter knowing that other people in the building are safe. This is a compound with several buildings, several secure facilities, uh, lots of entrances and exits. So they want to they want to just get it under control as fast as they can. Uh, the Washington Navy Yard, for people who may not be aware, is a very large compound along the Potomac River here in the nation's capital in the southwest section of the city. Very historic. Uh, but in recent years, a lot of uh, Navy business has moved there, some of it very classified. Uh, this is Building 197, the headquarters for the Naval Sea Systems Command, which runs programs, uh, shipbuilding programs, both warship, surface warships, submarines, a lot of classified work. Uh, this is a place where an awful lot of people come and go all day long. Hundreds of people work in the building, thousands of people on the Washington Navy Yard. This is a situation that, by all accounts, one hour later, they are still trying to get under control, Carol. Yeah, they're still trying. So you stay right there at the Pentagon. We have our justice correspondent, Evan Perez, on the phone right now with some more information. Uh, Evan, as far as we know, according to the U.S. Navy, uh, one report of an injury confirmed. There may be more. We don't know what's going on inside that building. Do you know anything else? Uh, the, uh, the FBI is now on the scene, and they're trying to uh, to get into the uh, into the building to try to secure it. Now, this is still an active situation. It doesn't uh, appear, uh, as Barbara just mentioned, that they have uh, apprehended the suspect. There, uh, there are still um, uh, lots of lots of uh, active uh, uh, officials on the scene. So we still don't know whether or not uh, how many more people have been have been injured in this. Uh, this is still developing at this hour. Okay, we ha stay on the line, Evan. We have Paul Corson on the phone. He is on the ground at the Naval Yard, and I want to go to him because I, I really want to know what the scene is like. So tell us, Paul.